Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to download 3D models online and how to use them in your 3D rooms for both Cinema 4D and Element 3D. When I make 3D room videos, I'll still show how to make the models yourself, but if you'd rather get it done quickly and just use pre-made models, then keep watching. There's two main websites you can download from, CG Trader and TurboSquid. You'll have to sign up on both websites, but it's free. Their websites and interfaces are pretty similar, but if you can't find a good model on one website, at least you have the other one that you can still look through. Whichever website you want to use, start by by searching up whatever model you want. For example, I'll look for a computer. On CG Trader, make sure to check off the free box. On Turbo Squid, select the price button and select free. Filter the formats to only OBJ or C4D. OBJ works for both Cinema and Element, but C4D of course only works for Cinema. Then just scroll through the website until you find what you're looking for. When you find a model, click on the picture and press download. If a little survey pops up, just skip it all. Now you should get a list of files to download. Make sure to download the file that says OBJ or C4D. Some files might say ZIP or RAR. ZIP files work on both Windows and Mac. If you have a Windows, you can download RAR files. Mac, on the other hand, doesn't have a built-in system to open RAR files, so unless you want to download something extra, just download the ZIP files. If you downloaded a ZIP or RAR file, locate it in your folders and double-click it to open the file. Now I'll show you how to import the models on Element 3D. Go to After Effects, make a solid layer and add element to it. Then open the scene setup and click import on the top left. This should open up your files, find the obj file and double click. Then just click OK. If it looks like nothing is there, click normalize size. If there's still nothing, increase the scale and you should start to see something pop up. Now to add color to this. Sometimes your model will be labeled correctly, sometimes it'll just be a box model. Whatever it is, extend that to see the materials. Unfortunately on Element, sometimes there will be only one material listed, meaning that your entire object can only be one color. You may want to download another model if that's the case. If your model does have multiple materials, you can figure out which material changes which parts by clicking on any of the materials and just changing the diffuse color and figuring out which part it changed. From there, you can decide what color or picture you actually want to use for that part of the model. And you can just change the diffuse color, you can use one of the presets on Element, or you can import your own picture. If your picture doesn't pop up, try one of these solutions. I'll also link the post in the description in case anyone wants to add any more solutions. And that's all for importing models on Element. Now to import the models on Cinema 4D, starting with OBJ files. You can simply drag the OBJ file from your folders onto the panel on the right. If you want to use a C4D file, click on File, Merge Objects, and locate the C4D file in your folders. Now you should get several materials listed on the bottom. To figure out which material changes what, just double click the material and change it to any color to see which part it changed. From there you can figure out what color or picture you actually want to use for that part. And yeah, that's all for importing models on Cinema.